Right then, let's get one thing straight. Are we all just one bad date away from whispering sweet nothings into a silicon ear? Is the grand tapestry of human connection, woven over millennia with threads of joy, betrayal, and that awkward moment when you both reach for the last slice of pizza, now so frayed that we'd rather confide in something assembled by a robot arm in a factory in, say, Oda? The chatter, a persistent hum beneath the surface of our endlessly scrolling lives, suggests that human relationships are circling the drain, and trust, that delicate butterfly, has been thoroughly swatted by the rolled-up newspaper of modern cynicism. So, Before we proceed, let me tell you one thing. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. And if you have already subscribed, tons of thanks for your support. Is a future filled with devoted, perfectly programmed robot partners not just a sci-fi trope, but an impending reality born of our collective romantic wreckage? Or are we, perhaps, just a tad dramatic? Consider the marvel of a modern humanoid robot a creature of gleaming alloys and intricate circuits. We're not talking about your grandma's clunky dishwasher here, are we? Think sophisticated artificial intelligence, capable of learning your quirks, anticipating your moods, perhaps even laughing at your terrible jokes with a sincerity you haven't heard since. Well, let's not get personal. These machines, or companions, as the brochures will undoubtedly coo, are being designed with increasingly advanced natural language processing. This means they can chat, truly chat, not just parrot pre-programmed phrases. Imagine a partner who remembers every anniversary, every preference, every rambling story you told at 2 a.m., and doesn't just pretend to listen, but actually logs it for improved future interaction. Terrifying or terribly tempting, as companies like Hanson Robotics with Sophia or even more advanced research pouring into expressive androids like those from Hiroshi Ishiguro's lab, demonstrate the quest for a machine that not only looks but feels human-like is very much alive. We're seeing skin made of advanced silicone that can mimic warmth, eyes that can track and follow with unnerving precision, and facial musculature systems allowing for a symphony of expressions. Can these expressions ever truly mean anything from the robot side? Or are they just exquisitely designed feedback loops reflecting our own desires? And does that distinction even matter if the end result is a feeling of being understood? Now, why this supposed stampede towards synthetic solace? Is it truly because young Master William can't be trusted not to ghost young mistress and after three seemingly perfect dates? Or is there something deeper at play? The argument goes that we, in our infinite human wisdom, have made such a hash of trusting each other, what with the curated perfection of social media lives breeding envy, and the ephemeral nature of digital connections, that a predictable, programmable affection seems like a safe harbor. But is a programmed affection truly affection? Or is it merely a sophisticated algorithm playing a love song on our heartstrings? It's like preferring a concert pianist who only plays the notes written perfectly, flawlessly, every single time, over one who might occasionally hit a wrong note but whose passion makes the chandeliers tremble, which performance truly feels alive. One could argue that the very imperfections, the messy unpredictability, the risk of getting your metaphorical fingers slammed in the relationship door, are what give human connections their depth and meaning. Can you truly experience the mountain peak of joy without the potential valley of despair? A robot partner, designed to minimize conflict and maximize contentment, might offer a placid lake, but what about the roaring ocean we sometimes crave? Researchers in Human-Robot Interaction, HRI, are already grappling with these questions. Studies, like those exploring emotional attachment to social robots, reveal that humans can, and do, form bonds with artificial entities. Remember Tamagotchis? 
or even your peculiar fondness for that slightly dented, much-loved car? We project emotions, we create narratives, we anthropomorphize. Is a robot partner just the next logical step in this ancient human tendency, albeit one that can cook a Michelin star meal while discussing Kantian ethics? Recent advances in effective computing aim to enable robots to recognize, interpret, and even simulate human emotions. Imagine your robot companion sensing your stress through vocal inflections or subtle facial cues, and then responding with a calming phrase or a perfectly timed offer of tea. Wonderful, isn't it? Or is it a step towards a world where we outsource our emotional labor to machines, forgetting how to soothe ourselves or each other? A 2023 paper in Nature Machine Intelligence discussed the potential for AI to enhance social connection, but also warned of the risks of over-reliance and the creation of parasocial relationships that could detract from genuine human engagement. Are we seeking a partner or a perfectly mirrored echo chamber? Let's not be too hasty in signing humanity's romantic death warrant, though. Are human relationships truly on the brink of destruction? Or are they simply evolving, as they always have, adapting to new societal structures and technological landscapes? Perhaps the anxieties are not about a fundamental inability to connect, but about the changing rules of engagement, the increased visibility of failed relationships, and the pressure to achieve a certain kind underscore of underscore relationship bliss that has always been more fiction than fact. Could it be that our expectations of human partners have become so inflated, so demanding of telepathic understanding and constant validation, that we are setting ourselves up for disappointment? If so, is turning to a machine that can be programmed to meet these impossible standards a solution, or an admission that we've forgotten the art of human compromise and acceptance? It's like demanding a bespoke suit that fits perfectly in every conceivable posture, never wrinkles, and also does your taxes. Possible in the world of code, perhaps, but in the messy, organic world of human flesh and feeling. And what of the robots themselves? The technological marvel is undeniable. We are talking about systems that learn, adapt, and personalize. Deep learning algorithms allow them to refine their responses based on countless interactions, becoming more attuned to their human user over time. Think of it as a relationship where your partner genuinely does get better with age, or at least with software updates. But this raises another question. If a robot can learn to perfectly simulate love, empathy, and companionship, does the simulation aspect make it any less real to the person experiencing it? If a person feels loved, cherished, and understood, does the ontological status of the source of that feeling diminish its impact? Neuroscientists might tell you that the brain chemistry of feeling loved could, in theory, be triggered by a sufficiently advanced artificial stimulus. So, if your neurons are firing the love cocktail, does it matter if the hand holding yours is made of flesh or advanced polymer? What does this say about us? If our deepest emotional needs can be met by something that, for all its sophistication, operates on lines of code rather than the unpredictable tides of a human heart. The proponents might argue that robot partners could fill a void for the lonely, the isolated, or those who have been repeatedly hurt by human relationships. A noble goal, perhaps? But what are the societal implications if significant numbers of people choose artificial companionship? Will we see a decline in human procreation, a further atomization of society, or perhaps paradoxically, will these robot relationships teach us patience and communication skills that we can then apply to our messy human interactions? Or is that just wishful thinking, like hoping your new fitness tracker will somehow magically make you want to run a marathon? The latest news in the field often highlights breakthroughs in AI's ability to generate human-like text, art, and even emotional responses, as seen with advanced LLMs. If AI can write a sonnet that brings a tear to your eye, is it such a leap to imagine it whispering words that soothe your soul? Perhaps the issue isn't a simple binary, human relationships failing, therefore robots. 
Maybe it's more of a complex dance. Could it be that our fascination with creating artificial partners is less about a failure of human connection and more about our eternal human desire to understand, replicate, and perhaps even control the very essence of what makes us human, including love itself? Are we, in essence, trying to build the perfect mirror, one that reflects back not just our image, but our deepest emotional desires, scrubbed clean of inconvenient human flaws? And if we succeed, will we fall in love with the reflection or with our own ingenuity? The future, as they say, is not yet written. But will it be written in binary code or in the beautifully flawed ink of human hearts? Or, most intriguingly, will it be a collaborative effort, a messy, unpredictable, and utterly fascinating duet? One can only wonder, can't one? That is it. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Let's continue this conversation in the comments below. If you like the video, please hit the bell icon to get notified and don't forget to like with your friends, share and subscribe for more insights. See you in the next video. Till then, goodbye. Take care and stay safe.